Have you ever wondered if owning more stuff makes you happier? It's a question that resonates in today's world, where materialism has become a prevalent force. Our society often equates success with the accumulation of wealth and material possessions. The glitz and glam of luxury goods, the allure of the latest gadgets, and the pressure to keep up with the Joneses can often make it seem like happiness is a commodity that can be bought. But does owning more actually equate to being happier? Some research suggests that it doesn't. In fact, it might even lead to the opposite effect, with the constant pursuit of more creating stress, dissatisfaction, and a sense of never having enough. Enter minimalism, an alternative lifestyle that advocates for less is more. It's a philosophy that challenges the conventional narrative of materialism and proposes a different approach to happiness. What if happiness doesn't come from what we own, but from what we let go? Imagine a life with less clutter, less stress, and more freedom. This is the essence of minimalism, a philosophy that encourages us to pare down our possessions to the essentials, to the items that truly bring us joy and serve a clear purpose. Minimalism is not about deprivation or living in an empty room with only a chair and a lamp. It's about intentional living, about consciously choosing what to keep in our lives and what to let go. It's about understanding that the things we own also own us to some degree. They demand our time, our energy, our attention. The benefits of embracing minimalism are numerous. It can lead to less clutter, not just in our physical spaces, but also in our minds. It can reduce stress by eliminating the overwhelm of excess. It can grant us the freedom to focus on the things that truly matter, our relationships, our passions, our peace of mind. Minimalism is about subtracting the unnecessary to make room for what truly matters. Meet Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus, also known as the Minimalists. These two gentlemen embarked on an extraordinary journey that led them away from their six-figure jobs and into the heart of minimalism. Their tale is not one of overnight transformation, but a gradual awakening to the realization that they were drowning in a sea of material possessions. Their lives were overflowing with stuff, but they felt an overwhelming emptiness within. Joshua and Ryan were successful by conventional standards. They earned hefty salaries and had all the trappings of a comfortable life. But beneath the surface, they were consumed by stress, discontent, and the never-ending pursuit of more. Their lives were dictated by their possessions, and they felt trapped in a cycle of consumption that offered little satisfaction. That's when they discovered minimalism. It wasn't about getting rid of all their belongings and living on the bare minimum. Rather, it was about making intentional decisions, prioritizing what truly mattered, and letting go of the excess. They began to ask themselves, does this add value to my life? If the answer was no, it had to go. As they pared down their possessions, they found that they were not just decluttering their homes, but also their lives. The less they owned, the less they had to worry about. They found freedom in simplicity and realized that they had been seeking happiness in the wrong places. Their transformation didn't stop at their doorstep. They started sharing their experiences and insights, inspiring thousands of people around the world to question their own relationship with material possessions. They showed that minimalism isn't about deprivation, but about finding joy, peace, and fulfillment in simplicity. Joshua and Ryan's journey from corporate success to minimalism is a testament to the power of living with less. They found happiness not in possessions, but in experiences, relationships, and purposeful living. Their story is a living proof that less can indeed be more. Why does living with less lead to more happiness, you may wonder? The answer may be found in the realm of psychology, where the effects of our environment on our mental state have been thoroughly studied. One of the key benefits of minimalism is reduced anxiety. Our brains are wired to process information, but when faced with an overload of stimuli, they can become overwhelmed, leading to stress and anxiety. In a cluttered environment, the multitude of items vying for our attention can create this kind of sensory overload. By reducing the number of items in our environment, we can alleviate this stress, creating a more peaceful and calming atmosphere. The reduction of physical clutter also leads to an increase in focus and creativity. Studies have shown that a clean and decluttered environment can improve concentration, allowing for better problem solving and creative thinking. Without the distraction of unnecessary items, our brains are free to focus on more important tasks, fostering an environment of productivity and innovation. But the benefits of minimalism aren't just limited to our personal well-being. 
it can also greatly improve our relationships. In a world where consumerism often takes precedence, we can easily lose sight of what truly matters, our relationships with other people. Minimalism encourages us to shift our focus from things to people. By owning less, we create more time and space for the people in our lives, leading to stronger and more meaningful relationships. Moreover, minimalism is not just about removing the physical clutter from our lives, it's also about decluttering our minds. By simplifying our physical surroundings, we can also simplify our thoughts, reducing mental clutter such as worry and overthinking. This mental clarity can lead to improved mental health, including reduced anxiety and depression. So the next time you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or stressed, consider embracing minimalism. It's not just about living with less, it's about making room for more, more happiness, more creativity, more meaningful relationships, and more peace of mind. Minimalism is not just about physical clutter, but also about clearing mental and emotional clutter. Are you ready to embrace a life of less and yet more? If so, you're probably wondering how to begin your journey towards minimalism. It's not about discarding everything you own, but rather mindfully curating your surroundings and experiences to align with your values and aspirations. The first step is decluttering. Begin by taking an inventory of your possessions and question the value they add to your life. Does that old stack of magazines spark joy, or is it just collecting dust? Do you need seven different frying pans or can you make do with two? This process can be gradual. Tackle one room or one category at a time. Be patient with yourself. Decluttering is a journey, not a race. Once you've decluttered, it's time to adopt mindful purchasing. Before buying something new, ask yourself, do I need this? Will it add value to my life? By adopting this practice, you're likely to make more thoughtful purchases, focusing on quality over quantity. Next, shift your focus from possessions to experiences. Studies have shown that experiences bring more lasting happiness than material possessions. So instead of buying a new gadget, consider investing in a cooking class or a trip to a place you've always wanted to visit. These experiences can enrich your life in ways that material goods often cannot. Remember, minimalism is a personal journey. There is no one-size-fits-all approach. What brings joy to one person might not bring joy to another. It's about creating an environment that suits your needs, not someone else's. Don't get caught up in comparing your journey to others. As you embark on this journey, you might face challenges. You might feel the urge to fill up the empty spaces. But remember, the emptiness is not a void to be filled, but a space for possibilities. Embracing minimalism is about more than just decluttering your physical space. It's about decluttering your life and making room for what truly matters. So, are you ready to embrace the minimalist lifestyle? Remember, the goal is not to own as little as possible, but to make everything you own count. Minimalism is not a destination, but a journey. As we begin to wrap up our exploration of minimalism and happiness, let's take a moment to reflect on the key takeaways from our journey. We delved into our societal inclination towards materialism, and how it often leads to a sense of dissatisfaction and unhappiness. We questioned if acquiring more stuff truly leads to a more fulfilling life, or if it just adds to the clutter, both physically and mentally. Then we introduced the concept of minimalism, a lifestyle choice that encourages us to focus on what truly matters in our lives. It's not about living with the bare minimum, but rather about making intentional decisions about what we allow into our lives and what we choose to let go. This way of life proposes that happiness is found not in the abundance of possessions, but in the richness of experiences, relationships, and personal growth. We took a closer look at the case study of the minimalists who have demonstrated the transformative power of minimalism. They chose to step away from the consumer-driven rat race and in doing so discovered a life of purpose, freedom, and joy. Their journey serves as an inspiration for many who seek to break free from the chains of materialism. The science behind minimalism further reinforced this concept. Studies have shown that an excess of possessions can cause stress and anxiety, whereas a minimalist lifestyle can lead to increased contentment, better mental health, and overall happiness. Throughout this journey, we've been encouraging you to question your relationship with material possessions. It's worth considering if you too might find more happiness in living with less. It's not about deprivation, but liberation, freeing ourselves from the unnecessary to make room for the essential. So are you ready to let go of the excess and embrace a life that truly matters?